So many of us have speculated for quite some time now that eventually Maxon would put ZBrush on an iPad. But now we have proof, kind of. Hey, my name's Al. Happy Easter. Take a look at this. So in the Forger section, it says the latest release of Forger includes new features for lighting, effects for realism, and the integration of ZBrush's powerful Z Remesher. So finally borrowing technology from ZBrush, Maxon's desktop sculpting tool, the powerful Z Remesher has now been brought into Forger. With this, you can manually direct new topology using guides or by painting density maps. Well, let's go take a look at that. All right, so now we are in Forger and we're just gonna take a look at things. This is really my first time actually ever getting inside Forger, but this is a little zombie that I made inside of ZBrush. I exported and then airdropped it to the iPad. And let's go ahead and select the head. And then we are going to take a look at the wireframe. Just so we can take a look at the geometry. As we can zoom in and look at the geometry and it's not good. It's not good just like I use Sculptors Pro. I use Dynamesh. There's not quads. So that's really not great to get those awesome sculpting details. And that is the point of Z-Remesher. With the head selected, we're going to scroll on the right to the Z-Remesher. We're going to press that. And then top Top left let's go ahead and we'll just draw some guides so just like in the full version of zbrush you can draw some guides and we're just going to see how this works let's say i want some of the polygons to flow that direction i apologize this is my first time in this software this is also my first time trying to film an ipad uh, so i'm like looking beyond the camera because i don't really know what i'm doing i really could take more time but i ain't gonna okay so there are some basic guides let's press that z remesh button again and we're just going to press remesh Okay, so it did its job on the head. That was the only piece I wanted to do this on. And it got the polygon count to under 5,000. 5,000 was its goal, so that's awesome. Let's clear these guides. That is not bad at all. This is actually pretty darn sweet. This sculpt was kind of a bad example because I already had all my sculpted details in here. You know, we can block out. We can Z-remesh to get us great geometry. Look at those polys. It flows really, really nice. It's not perfect, but that is awesome. And then there we go. So I could add subdivisions to this thing and you'll see I have awesome geometry. That way I can come in and have great geometry to start sculpting, adding all these wonderful details inside a forger. So many will just say this is just stealing from ZBrush, but I think this is a pretty great thing. Eventually, I would love to have the power of ZBrush in the palm of my hand.